Now that we've learned about introspection, as well as the ability to pass information dynamically when we press a table view cell, we're ready to figure out how to pass our space object from one class to another class. So let's go first and add a property to our OW space image view controller.h file. And we're first going to need to import in our header file here our OW space object.h file. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a property. So we're going to make this strong, non atomic. And we're going to call this OW space object, space object. And what this is going to allow us to do is when we create this view controller, OW space image view controller, by going or segueing to this new view controller, that's when we create the view controller, we're going to be able to set the property of space object and be able to access that information inside of the OW space image view controller methods. So now that we have that set up, let's go back to OW outer space table view controller.m and we're going to go into the prepare for segue method and write our code here. So the first thing we're going to do is check to make sure our sender is indeed of type UI table view cell, just in case we add other ways to segue to new view controllers. So we can accomplish that with the following code. If uh, left bracket, because we're going to do a method call, and we'll say sender is kind of class, we'll use the method. And we're going to add another bracket here because we're going to do another method call. We're going to say UI table view cell class. Uh, and we can add curly braces after this. So what's going on here? We're saying if the sender or the object that's being passed in or the object that's triggering our segue is of kind of class, well, how do we check for a specific type of class? We can add a class name and add the class method name class. I know that's a lot of the use of the word class there, but there's a method called class here and it's class method we can call on the UI table view cell class. And what it does is it compares if the center object is in fact of type UI table view cell class. So in our case, when we press our UI table view cell, it is gonna be a UI table view cell class so our logic inside of our if statement will evaluate to true. If we add a button later on and we press the button to segue to a different view controller, this method would not trigger, or this, excuse me, this if statement or this if logic would not evaluate. So this is a great way to make sure we're dealing with the UI table view cell. So our next goal is to make sure that we're segueing if we are tapping on a UI table view cell to the space image view controller and make sure that its public property space object is set to the space object represented by our UI table view cell. Because we need to grab onto our space image view controller, we need to import it at the top of our OW outer space table view controller.m. So we can scroll up to the top here, and we can import OW space image view controller.h. We can scroll back down to prepare for seg. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to test to make sure that the class or the view control that we're going to is in fact a space image view controller class. So let's write if, and we're going to have to do a left bracket because just like before, we're going to have to do a method call to test the class. So we're going to say segue dot destination view controller is kind of class, and we're going to do our double brackets here again. And I'll just close these out. We can add this code right in the middle here. And we can say space OW space image view controller class. And we can add another set of curly braces. And what's happening here? Well, this, the other argument, segue, has a property called destination view controller. So when we segue to a new view controller, the segue knows which view controller we're going to be going to and specifically knows what type of object that's going to be. So we can test if our destination view controller is going to be of type class, well, is it going to be an OW space image view controller class? Yes, we are in fact transitioning to a new class or a new view controller. So we first check to make sure that our sender is of type UI table view class, table view cell class. 
And then we check to make sure our destination view controller is the correct view controller. And we check to make sure it's OW space image view controller. So here we're doing an embedded if statement. We're basically saying if this is true, do the code inside. And then if this is true, do the code inside of these curly braces. So next we can go ahead and we can create a space image view controller instance, OW space image view controller, and we'll call this next view controller. And we're gonna set this equal to our segue.destination view controller. And what this is gonna allow us to do is it's gonna allow us to access the view controller we're gonna be going to in just a second as soon as the prepare for segue method is done evaluating. And what this is also going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to access the property of OW space image view controller, specifically the space object property. And I'm going to be able to set that property equal to the space object that I'm currently displaying on my UI table view cell. And I get that information from my sender. So let's use sender in order to find what space object is currently on my UI table view cell. Well, how do I figure that out? The way in which I figure out where I am on my table view is with NS index path. So let's go ahead and let's create an NS index path object. And we can call this path. And we're going to say self.table view index path for cell. And we're going to be able to say sender. And what this is doing is it's saying, give me back the index path or the NS index path for the index path for my cell and I know what cell I'm currently using because I'm passing that in as my sender's argument. I also have access to my table view by saying self.tableView. Well, we don't have this in our header file, right? So if I can quickly check my header file, we see I don't have UI, we, we don't have table view as a property. Where, this, where is this coming from? Well, because this is a UI table view controller, we automatically get access to a table view because it's automatically getting added as part of our UI table view controller. So we can access that table view by saying self.tableView. So great, now we have the index path where our uh, table view cell is in our table view. So we can use that index path in order to index into our array of objects. So we can say OW space object and we'll say selected object is equal to, well, we can access my array of self.planets and we can say object at index path.row, right? So in the past, we've been able to say like index path.row. Well, here I named my NS, NS index path named path and we know that path has a property row because it's of type in a NS index path and I can index into my array of self.planets using the method object at index, and I get back my OW space object. I can also refactor this to make this look a little bit cleaner, and we can use our literal syntax by simply saying self.planets and index into it using path.row, which returns an integer and we can index into our array appropriately. So now that I have my selected object, I can now set my next view controller's property dot space object is equal to selected object. So now, it's right before I transition to my new view controller and the prepare for segue method, I'm setting the property of space object for my new view controller. And when that new view controller loads up, specifically my OW space image view controller, I'm gonna have access to this object and I'm gonna be able to use this object to change the way in which my view looks. So we've just covered a ton of material and we're gonna look at how to implement our new space object in the next video. But we're gonna have a bunch of challenges. We're gonna be working through this material together. Introspection is definitely very new, but it's really powerful to figure out what type of object or what class an object is. So we'll have tons of practice on this in the future. And it's a really powerful design pattern to be able to figure out when you're going to transition to a new view because it's so often that we transition to new views as well as add code dynamically when we do that transition.